The other factor that we're seeing is that the state legislature uh, wants to also change the rules of, of civil procedure, the rules of evidence, and basically uh, strip homeowners uh, who are in foreclosure and other folks who are in foreclosure from any of their constitutional rights. We believe that, that these, these legislative initiatives are highly inappropriate. We think that they're a violation of the sanctity, of the separation of powers. Uh, we think that, that they put uh, undue uh, pressure on the judges, and particularly on, on retired judges, to be more concerned about getting the case dispensed with as opposed to dispensing justice. Uh, we also don't like the fact that the case has retroactivity components to it, which are in violation of both the state and, and federal constitutions. And we also don't like the fact that uh, people will effectively be denied due process and that they will be presumed to be guilty effectively as opposed to innocent, as we typically are, uh, we say in, in, in our constitutional construct of, of a fair trial. Uh, these kinds of things are highly inappropriate, and we encourage all of you to uh, call your representatives call your state legislature, call your, your state senators and, 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 and your state reps and let them know that you are opposed to uh, the, this new foreclosure statute that uh, bill that is being proposed by the, the Florida legislature. In other words, we're going to be busy and uh, who, who, who are the winners here? Well, I don't think it's the homeowners. I think in some cases it will be the banks, but I think at the end it's going to be unfortunately guys like me because uh, without an attorney uh, you will likely be steamrolled by this new rocket docket and by this new legislative process. So Roy Oppenheim from the trenches, thank you very much. Have a great day.